Welcome to this week's uh, Midweek Musing for Wednesday the 27th of May. The big talking point of the weekend, certainly in, in political thinking, it was Dominic Cummings and his trip to Durham. And I don't know how that will have worked out by the time we, uh, by the time you listen to this, by the time we discuss this, I'm actually recording this on Monday, and things may well have played out in, in some way uh, by the middle of the week. I don't actually want to particularly discuss the question of whether he was right or wrong. There are different views and opinions on that. But I do want to pick up on one of the questions it raised, that of integrity. And when he was doing his briefing on Sunday afternoon, the Prime Minister referred to this and he he said something very specific. He said that Dominic Cummings had acted responsibly and legally and with integrity. And it is that last word, that, that idea of integrity, that I want to focus on this week. Acting legally is is simply about obeying the law, of keeping the rules, but integrity is is something else, is something deeper. The concise Oxford English Dictionary defines it as the quality of having strong moral principles. And the Bible uses it to focus on the, the soundness of character in people and keeping to those solid moral principles. This integrity is about who we are and it results in action. It's not about doing good and then in our private thoughts thinking things that are wrong or evil or wicked. That's hypocrisy. It's about being clean, it's about being pure, it's about being honourable on the inside and that defining how we live and what we do. When God spoke to Samuel as he was choosing the next king of Israel He spoke about the importance of what is inside and that this is known to God. He says, do not consider his appearance or his height for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance but the Lord looks at the heart. God spoke through Isaiah to challenge the people of his day And Jesus later quotes Isaiah to challenge the people of his day. Where in Isaiah we find the Lord saying, These people come near to me with their mouth and honour me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Their worship of me is based merely on human rules. They have been taught. And Jesus in turn challenges the religious leaders of his day about this. Woe to you! teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You are like whitewashed tombs, which look beautiful on the outside, but on the inside are full of the bones of the dead and everything unclean. In the same way, on the outside, you appear to people as righteous, but on the inside, you are full of hypocrisy and wickedness. There is so much focus today on looking good. People post positive pictures of themselves on Facebook. Lots of adverts are focused on how we can have a better body. We tidy our rooms before starting Zoom calls. And it is possible to do the same in terms of how we live as Christians, where we can look the part, say the right thing, go to the right places. But inside we know there is something deeply wrong, something that we know God wants to deal with and cleanse, something that only God and we know about. And it's so important to get this right, not just for our own lives, but for our witness. Because unless we do, we are not being authentic, we are not acting with integrity, our witness can suffer, and we can bring shame on the name of Jesus. Paul, writing the church at Philippi, presents them with a list of things to focus on, things that will help them to stay pure and right inside. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. If there are things inside us that we know are wrong, let's come to Jesus and seek his forgiveness and cleansing, and then let's determine to fill our minds and thoughts with things that are good and wholesome and healthy. Here are some questions to think about. Why is integrity so important? When have you seen this lack of integrity 
cause problems in the lives of believers? How do we determine there is something morally wrong inside us? How can we focus on the sort of things Paul speaks about?